After twice being blocked by the Barnett government, the city of Fremantle are hoping to be third time lucky in implementing a ban on single-use plastic bags. This comes following the commendation of major supermarket retailers Coles and Woolworths on their impending bans on such bags. Mayor of the city of Fremantle, Brad Petit, will be telling us more. We were really happy actually that we had this decision um, and I think what it is, it's actually a really important step on actually on, on the way to the whole of Australia being free from single-use plastic bags. Coles and Woolworths are one of the biggest users. Um, Australians use over six billion plastic bags a year. I think Woolworths themselves have admitted they give out something like 3.2 billion single-use plastic bags e each year. So um, this will be a major, a, major, a major change and a major improvement for, for, um, for, for the environment and I think an important step um, for Australia as a whole to become plastic bag free. Right now, every time you go shopping, it's more than likely that you're contributing to one of the biggest sources of pollution on the planet. The good news is there's an easy solution and that's something we should talk about. This is a single-use plastic bag, like you'd find at most supermarkets, and it might look like much, but this thing was built to last. It'll outlast you and me. It'll outlast the couch you're sitting on. Some scientists say, and I haven't actually seen the data on this, but some scientists say this plastic bag will outlive Keith Richards. Incredible. <laughs> on average, a plastic bag is used for just 12 minutes. So that's 12 minutes carrying your groceries to the car, and then from the car to your pantry, and after that, it's tossed away and it takes a thousand years to break down. So your great, 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 great grandchildren will share a planet with the plastic bag that you just used to bring home tonight's dinner. There's no doubt, it's been a really fantastic and important shift in community sentiment over the last little while. Fremantle is a really progressive community and for quite some time they've been talking around um, getting rid of single-use plastic bags. But I think what we've seen more recently is across Australia a, a really broad conversation around a broader war on waste and plastic bags are certainly hard, uh, part of that. I think at the heart of that has been a sense of uh, more plastics ending up in our oceans and concerns around that and, and the impacts that that might have on the environment. But, and I think we've seen that Coles and Woolworths have taken that change in community sentiment on board. People don't really think about the environmental impact of a plastic bag at all. It's really frustrating because these bags are having an enormous impact on the environment. They're killing our precious wildlife. We don't need plastic bags. We've certainly been, have been in dialogue with Coles and Woolworths through our plastic bag local law process. But I think what really had the biggest impact on them was a change in, in community views and sentiment. I think it's been a really strong sense that the community no longer accepts that, that we uh, throw into our waste stream um, over six billion plastic bags a year and that many of those don't end up in landfill, they actually end up as litter and some of that in our waterways and in, in, in our oceans. I was expecting to find some rubbish down here, but not this much. It's almost like our waste has become part of this underwater world. And tragically, it appears this is a global trend. It's estimated that by 2050, there will be more plastic than fish in our oceans. And that's just frightening. We will see Fremantle become plastic bag free and I think what we'll see is retailers selling plastic bags that can be used more than once and can be recycled. We'll see um, many other options, be it cloth bags or paper bags and those kinds of things offered instead. I think consumers and retailers will get used to it pretty quickly and we'll look back and say, isn't it amazing we used to uh, have free single-use plastic bags that used to end up in our rubbish bins only after being used only once. That is the rubbish from about 15, 20 minutes, and we could have got a lot more if I wasn't so rubbish at scoop diving. But it's just everywhere. And it, it, see the floating, or there's a lot of it just stuck underneath the reeds or covered in the sand. You can't initially see it. It's, it's everywhere under there. I, like, I saw about five fish, and I saw a lot more rubbish. At the moment, what we're seeing is a lot of these plastic bags are only being used one time, a huge amount of waste, and whilst the, new, the plastic bags you have to pay for um, are thicker, they are reusable. And I think what we'd expect is that people will reuse them many times. So I actually think this is actually a really good outcome and whilst there will be some thicker bags be, being used, they'll be much less damaging to the environment in the small numbers that they are used.
This is Michael So reporting for Undercurrent.